Hello Taurus, I'm Susie from the Gift Eternal here to read your cards for the week of the 10th of May. It's the universe, spirits, angels. What would you like Taurus to know for the week of the 10th of May? 10th of May for Taurus. for the week of the 10th of May. Okay, 10th of May for Taurus, Universe Spirits, Angels, Universe Spirits and Angels. Okay. Okay, Taurus, we've got the King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. So it could be that this King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, are very emotional. You might feel very emotional at this point, Taurus. Uh, you may have been given some money. Someone's been very kind to you or charitable towards you or vice versa. Um, this person, they could be a counsellor. The King of Cups is a very kind person. He likes to counsel people. He doesn't quite trust himself enough, but I feel that someone's come along and given up the goodness of their heart, and this could have been you. It's reciprocation. Someone's reciprocating some kind of energy, whether it's money or love. Um, and this has allowed the nightmare to basically end okay there's a knight of knight of wands here a messenger a passionate person flying in to give you a big surprise um whether it's the same person is about to reciprocate or whether they've already given something and they're going to give you something uh, again so there's this uh surprise of of maybe a message coming to you with the king of swords here it's something maybe legal um something about the truth and the balance of a situation so the outcome of this immediate situation um may go to the point of the court of law or some kind of libra or someone that needs to oversee something like a doctor a surgeon a lawyer a policeman a military person the um air sign they like to talk but they like to balance things out with their words um so this Knight of Wands is coming in, could have a vice to tell you something of a new beginning, like a stable new beginning in love. It could be a gift of a ring or an engagement, a news of an engagement. Uh, the King of Swords is here, is saying, hmm, let's just, let's work this out first. Uh, initially, you might feel very, whatever this message is, it could literally be about, about prison, okay? Like you might find out someone's gone to jail, they're being released from jail. Uh, this is where people have, have, have gossiped about you. You find out that you've been stabbed in the back by people or these witches have just sort of imprisoned this person on the floor. He's in a fetal position. It's that depression when you just don't want to get out of bed. Uh, justice is saying, stop. It's time for the sun to rise. This is the, the, You're going to be the phoenix rising, okay? So this legal, I feel that this reciprocation... Or you might have to pay your way out of a legal situation. This King of Swords comes in to balance something up. And what happens is you start seeing love. Someone comes in for a union of love. So at one minute you feel down, Taurus, and depressed and locked in. The next minute, I feel there's someone coming to your rescue or a new love, definitely to see eye to eye, to offer some kind of commitment or the keys to a house. And this is your card, Taurus. So this you're going to be in your element. Someone is coming to offer you possibly a move with the six of swords in the outcome. This is a more peaceful passage. You've dropped from the, the nine... Uh, okay, went up to the 10 at some point, but if this, it could be a marriage, a commitment is offered, is something that you can start afresh, go from 
rough waters to a turb from a turbulent time where you might have ended a relationship, you've said things you didn't want to say, blah, blah, blah. You're putting all your swords, your mental worries in this boat in front of you and you're gone. It could be just a weekend away, this weekend's coming. Um, but someone's offering some kind of spiritual quest of a new journey, of a new commitment, of it's with love um, and it's going to take you out of this this feeling of imprisonment. You might have been in lockdown, you feel very low. It could be a legal situation with that King of Swords there. It could be that you owed a lot of money and someone has come along and helped you pay it or you only have to pay half off or a little bit off. Um, uh, initially, it might feel like a nightmare, but what comes out of this, you rise. You There's someone like a twin flame comes in to offer you the, a committed journey it could be marriage it's a priest it's a building it's a college it could be that you someone helps you pass an exam you you are going to be guided by this hierophant with your own energy this taurus energy to this you're going moving whether that's internally whether that's physically I don't know, but you are moving to to something permanent with somebody in love. It's your choice. But they're going to literally lift you out of this position of feeling stabbed in the back. This is a new life. And no, you're not perfect. You've got swords, you've got worries, mental worries that you, you can put in that boat. That's okay, that's your bag. That's your lipstick, your, your keys in that bag. You can take that bag with you. That's fine. You can't carry these people and they're stabbing in the back. It's too, it's mentally overwhelming. Let me ask the angels what they would like Taurus to know. So someone's going to reciprocate with love. They're coming in to offer you something that ends this nightmare. The Knight of Wands comes in. Not everyone has a vice. He's on a flying horse, passionate, uh, sexual, fun, charming. But he likes drugs. He likes drink. He, he, you know, there's this new secure beginning. Maybe you have to get rid of this element so that you could have this secure beginning. Because legally, Taurus, it could. You, you I think you realise you could end up here, and you've just swerved that. So if you if you don't take this reciprocation or if you're not charitable to someone else, you could end up like this and this, but someone's gonna someone like a twin flame is gonna lift you out, guide you to a more uh, a, a clearer route. And it's it's long term, it's committed. It's he's got the scroll of knowledge, it's very spiritual. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Taurus to know? Taurus, no. So earth signs, you've got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've got air. So air and water. So things that move, things that talk, things that, that the, the flow of, there's a lot of water in here, a lot of emotion and things that you, you need to talk about. Angels, spirit guides. Okay, so it says pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Right, and I think it's this Knight of Wands. I think it's this, this temptation, because they fly in and out. Okay, you've got things you need to sort out here. You don't want to feel imprisoned. Angels, spirit guides. What would the angels, spirits, romance angels like? Taurus to know for the tenth week, the tenth of May, the week of the tenth of May. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, we've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so you might get an offer of commitment but they might say i've got to go away first but i'll be back or you say oh, i've got to go away and do this thing first and i'll be back so they drag you out of this that might be the thing they might say i've got to go away and i'm here in rehab i'm sorry <laughs> amy Winers. Let me go we have I said no 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 someone might have to go do something. Flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others. 
So if this is a past person that's coming in and out and makes you fear and it's got something illegal about them, I think it's going to be sorted out. But you may need to separate from this person, flirt with, extend your energy to other people because there's an engagement here. There's a union. There's a twin flame. Now, Aries also... Aries, I just did Aries. It's fantastic. But they also had the twin flame, two of cups. But you've got it in the love arena. Um, so it's a commitment. And it's a commitment to the future. You don't want to be back there. You don't want to be back here. You're taking your problems with you. you you're, you're concentrating on the king of cups, this love. This reciprocation, not someone that comes in and out with a vice. That's what I'm feeling. Let me ask the angels. And and on the bottom here, you've got the two of wands, which is like two choices. There could, and the knight of cups, there could be a choice between an air sign, a fire sign, and either, either three choices, the king of cups of the horse sign. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? So don't swerve one situation where you lock the nightmare's over because someone's reciprocating something to you just to go back into something that's going to escalate up one sword to the ten. Mm -mm -mm, no, no. But you can only rise from the ten of swords. The sun rises, it's the phoenix. It's like, uh-uh. You might need to go there to get this two of cups. It's like overnight, it changes. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Taurus to know? What would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 10th of May? Week of the 10th of May. Week of the 10th of May. Taurus, 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 Angels, Yes, again. Remember this, it says the signs are cautioning you. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. If this Knight of Wands comes in to offer you some kind of beginning, it could be like illegal or something like that. They could end up in prison or something. Like, you don't need that. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Taurus to know about this week? You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Mm -hmm. Patience, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realise. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Overcoming difficulties, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. And what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. She's painting her future. She's painting the flowers for a wedding. She's got a wedding dress on. You, you've got to, um, I'm feeling, you've, you, it would be beneficial for you to cut some pictures out of a magazine. Uh, pictures of places you'd like to visit. People you'd like to see. Um, other things than in this space of of feeling imprisoned you know there's new love here there's new union there's new commitment you just might have to separate from the past to get it and flirt with other people but there's there's definitely king of cups six someone's reciprocating someone's giving you money and it's got you out of a tight squeeze <sighs> Or you've borrowed money. This King of Cups is coming to show some faith and to show some love. Knight of Wands might come in and say, well, I want to give you this new beginning, this Ace of Pentacles. But the King of Swords is saying, hmm. Hmm. He's not a king, is he? He's on a moving horse. This passionate Sagittarius trying to come in to give you something that's not, that's going to make, 
it's like it could be a truth with this king of swords they say like you know i've done something and i can't be there i've got to go away or i'm going to prison or something like that um and immediately when you feel this depression or you hear this news it's like a new lease of life and that's your choice whether you take this commitment it's like you you commit to a new path of spirituality of being clean of being um peaceful that's peace it's just peace so what do you desire visualize it and it will come about negativity will block your progress mm -hmm. flirt engagement there's something a commitment coming but there might be a, you might have to separate from someone who's, who's just showing up with signs of caution so i hope i've helped you taurus take care of yourself and i'll see you soon thanks bye bye